Hi there. In this video, we'll review how you can link your bank accounts, credit cards, investments, and more to your Right Capital financial plan. Right Capital features bank level encryption, allowing you to securely link all of your accounts and easily access your financial information all in one place. The first step is to log into your Right Capital portal. Please note that this can be done either on your computer or using the Right Capital mobile app. We'll be covering the desktop method first, but feel free to skip around using the timestamps in the video description. Once you've logged in, the next step is to navigate to the net worth section of the profile. If your plan is still within the initial data entry phase, this will be the step labeled net worth. You should see a blue link account button at the top of this page. Click this button to get things started. After a moment, a new window will appear in the center of your screen. Here is where you'll search for your bank or financial institution and choose which site to link. You can use one of the common quick links on this page, or you can search for the institution using the search bar. A couple pro tips for you during this step. Most of the time this will be pretty straightforward, and the link you're looking for will pop up right away. In some cases though, certain institutions might have a few different options to choose from. For example, some common institutions like Vanguard, Fidelity, and Charles Schwab have general links for personal investors and separate links for employer-sponsored retirement plans. In these cases, it helps to double check what login page you use to sign in and view your account. Let's say you're trying to link your company 401k through Charles Schwab. Be mindful of the name of each link option and take note of the URLs listed below. Which one matches the login page that you use? To be certain, you can always click on an option and then click the hyperlink to take you to that company's site. You may sometimes see a light bulb icon with a hyperlink directly to the login page. One last tip before moving on. In some cases, copying and pasting the URL of your login page directly into the search bar will take you right to the correct link option. This won't work every time, but can be worth trying if you aren't able to easily identify which option to choose. Once you've identified the correct link option, follow the steps on your screen to continue. Typically, the next step here will be to enter your login credentials for that site. Depending on the financial institution, you may be asked for additional information or to accept a user agreement or terms of service. At this point, most institutions will then require you to complete some form of multi-factor authentication. This usually comes in the form of answering security questions or having a security code sent to your phone or email. Again, this will vary a bit by institution, but the system will walk you through each step of the process. After following all of the steps, your account information will be retrieved and pulled into Right Capital. At this point, you'll be able to choose the accounts held at that institution that you'd like to link to your Right Capital plan. You can enter new names for these accounts if you'd like and remove any accounts that you don't want to link. Once complete, these accounts will populate within the appropriate category in the net worth section of your plan. If there are any other accounts you'd like to link, you can click Link Account and rinse and repeat the steps we just covered. Next, we'll take a quick look at this same process within the Right Capital mobile app. This can be a convenient way to link accounts to your plan on the go, even if you don't have access to a computer. After logging into the app on your phone, navigate to the dashboard page. In the upper right corner, tap on the plus icon to take you to the link account screen. Look familiar? At this point, the process of linking accounts is mostly the same as on desktop. Search for your financial institution and then follow the steps on your screen. Just like before, after completing the steps, you'll be able to choose which accounts at that institution you'd like to link. After a quick refresh, these accounts will populate in the dashboard area within the appropriate account category. It's worth noting that the dashboard page in the mobile app is synced with the net worth area of the client portal. When you link accounts on your phone, these will also appear on desktop and vice versa. 
To round out this video, I want to touch on a few best practices and some important things to know when it comes to linking accounts in Right Capital. Although it's uncommon, there are a handful of institutions that require separate login credentials to be created for third-party access. For these institutions, the username and password that you normally use to view your accounts won't work. When you're linking accounts for the first time, be mindful to read the message that appears in this window before entering your credentials. If there are any unique requirements like this that need to be met for a given institution, you'll be notified here and you'll usually be provided with step-by-step -step instructions as well. The last thing I want to mention here today is what to do if you're ever having difficulty linking with a certain institution. If you run into a roadblock during any step of the linking process, such as your credentials not being accepted or your multi-factor code not being delivered, it can be tempting to try the connection again. While it's generally okay to try a connection a second time, we would recommend against making too many login attempts in a short period of time. If this happens, it's always best to reach out to your advisor and let them know the details of the issue you're experiencing. You should tell your advisor which accounts you're trying to link at what institution, provide them with the URL of the login page that you use for those accounts, let them know what issue is occurring at which step of the linking process, and then wait for them to provide you with further instructions. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.